So we're going to learn how to install the OkTrader add-on into Godot 4.3. So th there are two ways you can do this. You can go through the asset lib and uh, type the OkTrader and you can be able to install that from there, download it into your file system. So if this is not compatible with your own, just like my own, I had an experience where I couldn't use it. Whenever I download the OkTrader add-on, it will crash the Godot engine. So what I had to do, what I had to go to GitHub to download an earlier version that was very compatible with my Google 4.3. So if you actually go to this link, I'm going to put that in the description. You go to the releases. From the releases, you will be able to actually see the 2.0.1 version that is compatible with my own system. So if you check all these ones, you can find another one that is good for your own system. So the one I have that is good for my own, uh, 4.3, 4.3 Google Engine is the 2.0.1 stable download. So if you go down to the assets, you can be able to actually see the version. So you have the stable, that's the big one you have to, the one of 59.3 MB. Download it. Once you download it, you can unzip the file because it's actually zipped. Once you unzip, extract the files, you copy that add-on folder and put it into your entire scene. Once you put it into your Google file system, it will prompt you to restart. Once you restart the Google engine, you can be able to see the orchestrator add-on enabled here. So I have this thing telling me to update, but because my version I'm using, probably because I'm using a compatibility or whatever reason, if this could be a bug. So that's the reason why my own is not compatible. So if you have the same problem, there is a way to be able to solve it. You can turn on your uh, orchestrator okay, from here by using the GitHub file. So I hope that helps. And if you have any question, do uh, ask me and remember to subscribe and like my videos and share with your friends. See you in the next video.